Hello on Proclamation, welcome to my channel, hope everyone's doing good. I've been meaning to do a video. So I have a Launchpad 49, and it's now Contact Complete compatible. I have a FL Studio 37, it's already been that way. Both keyboards are good keyboards, and you got the Novation software. So I get to choose from three different ones. You choose your select bundle, you put in your voucher code when you register it. Go to my software tab, find complete select. This is where it was a good idea to go to Windows 11. And I'm glad that I've upgraded the computer. And Massive X requires a AVX compatible CPU. You can check if your CPU support AVX using CPU identification tools. Ah, uh, CPU Z. Okay, CPU. Uh, there it is. AVX. AVX2. AVX-VNNI. Okay. Well, first of all, I wouldn't choose B. I have battery for full. I'm pretty sure I got Supercharger GT and Transient Master. I don't need Ozone Elements. I got version 11. I should stick with 9. Studio Drummer... I don't know what it is, but I'm always looking for more drum software. I find I spend more of my time trying to find that perfect loop. And I find that wreck loops that the propeller head has created through reason. Now, these are old, like back 2005, but they're so well done. And to me, they sound a lot better than Symantec. And Symantec's pretty good. Ghost Hack, Loop Master, but... The Rex files and Reaper takes the Rex file. Some of them are just like really awesome. So you got Studio Drummer. I think the gentleman is keyboard. I don't, I got Rickenback or bass already. Session Guitarist Drum Acoustic. Sounds familiar. Guitar Rig 7LE. Guitar Rig is nice. This one on the end, Electronics, Massive X. Terra K01, I already have that one. Sima Light, Fill It, Nash, Utopia, Progressive Trap, Leap, Extent, Expansion. Well, I'm going to go order my bundle, and then we'll take a look at it. Well, it won't install it, saying that my default location's not working, or not found, or but they're all fine. I mean, I haven't changed anything. Uh, I know this is a newer version of Native Access, and this new version is slow on downloading. I mean, it's like, it's just slow. It shouldn't be as slow as it is. If I don't get it fixed, then I just move on because otherwise I'll just get burned out. Now, I need to put this in because I did this and it might make a difference if it doesn't work for you. And I read this for the Mac where just like there's partial downloads and if you delete those files and start over, it'll work. But that was for a Mac, not for Windows. So you got to go to your user public folder and then your public documents, if I remember correctly. And then you got needed instrument and see a little bit grayed out. So it's probably a read only folder, yeah. And then I went in to native access, RA, RAS3, and all these files I deleted. Now I'm logged in to native instruments online and have native access software open. So they're both talking to one another, you could say. But all of this, I deleted. And then there was another file here. It started with the F. You got your tracking.json that you want to keep. But there was some other file here, and I deleted that one too. And then I close off native access on Windows and reopen it. And that's when I was able to get things going. So I got it working. And what it is, when you go into library, you got your different libraries. And those that haven't been installed, on the right side will have a box saying install. And when you click the install, it'll come up with an installation file, review your local preferences. But on top, there's like some sort of menu you can click and, and do install all. And then it'll bring up a box and say, are you sure you want to download all 11 of them? And I hit yes. And after that, some of them start installing. Four of them did. Down below, it had an exclamation point saying seven was in queue. 
And you can see all these other ones in queue. So I clicked on that and it brought me to this window. And the studio drummer is already installed. It's not showing it because it only stays up on the screen once it's installed. And then it's removed because it's, it's installed. So it's working. And that's how you get around it on Windows. Okay, everything downloaded except for two things. They didn't have titles next to the block. So when I looked at the release notes, it basically was one was like a sampler with a large amount of libraries. And the other one was some other library was sounds. But it just, those two wouldn't work. But it looks like everything else did. We are looking for, well, there's the gentleman. Oh, wow, it has VG Carbon. That's you, Jim. That's, that's a good one. It seems limited for electric guitar. I like to see them expand it better because I was having difficulty getting beyond a certain set of riffs, but I really do like that one. Basic gentleman. Huh? Oh, I didn't know it was going to play. But how do you... Zebra HC... Yeah, it's got some of my other plugins here. You know, it didn't bring up the piano. Well, how do you... Well, that's great, but that's not showing me how to play the damn thing. Maybe I'm just testy. When it takes a long time to do something that doesn't really need to take that long to do, downloads are slow, it's not working the way I want it to work... Let me make sure I have it so that you guys can see it. Studio Drummer. Okay. Garage Kick. Do they have any other? Garage Kick Light. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna kill my drums of my ears. I'm a drummer now. circus music. Well, you got to throw a MIDI file in there to get any kind of decent sound. I like that one. That's, that's, that'll work. I wonder if it's coming from... Oh, it is. Probably coming from another drums. There we go. That's a good MIDI beat, though. Wow. When you find things like this, you know you got to save it. Oh, wait a minute. I can't save it. If you have mute on, it won't save the MIDI file. Let's try to find some other things. I don't, I've been meaning to play with the contact player, and it just updated the player. Now, this is the free version of contact. Okay, so how do you, is it, oh, there we go. So now I got to find out where some of the other stuff that they say I'm going to have. But this should be library. Let's try this. Let's try uh, instruments. Where are your guitars? Here. Boom. What do we have? Let's we have strum. This is it. Latin pop. You can write a lot of good poppy songs with this thing.
So this is a fun toy. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, there we go. Click back up on here and you get your menu back. This is nice. I like this. I like this. I wonder, and I got to go check. Oh, there it is. Nectar four elements. I brought in nectar elements. I raised the shape up, the intensity up. I can't read what that word is there. That's what I get for not using my glasses. Balanced. Ah, I can read. And then I brought this up. This is like reverb. You had to click it on. And then on voices, I put the width all the way to the right. Brought the unison up. And it came out pretty good. Let's balance that. Keep it for something down the road. I did want to find out about like solo EQ dynamics and the dynamics I'd be interested in. So that's the dynamics. Let's check out the solid EQ. Okay, it's an analog one, which is fine. I prefer the digital over the analog. It's just me. I'm a newbie. Horrible, I know, but I mean, TR Nova, that's my style. Windows 95. But man, this thing works great. This here... Acoustica. This kind of looks like this too. So that's my video. You take care. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you in the next video.